Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today and I am really sorry I haven't uploaded a video of late. Uh, there's a lot been happening and I wanted to do one final video for the year um, to end off 2017 and start a fresh 2018. So I'm experimenting again today and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm using PVA glue as my pouring medium and I'm adding uh, about a tablespoon of PVA glue into each cup. I'm using four colors and I'll show you how much it is in a cup. It's you can see it's very little so I'm not using a lot of paint and there's not going to be a lot of wastage either. I'm using golden fluid acrylics for this pour and I'm using uh, actually I'll list down the, the paints that I'm using and I'm using very little paint uh, in each cup because they are very highly pigmented and you don't need a lot of uh, paint in there so literally I think it's about three to four drops of paint in each cup. I'm going to give this a mix and and then I'm going to add just one more ingredient in here. I'm not adding any water to this uh, pour because I have realized that with uh, adding water you lose your cells uh, in any pour. So I'm adding my 91% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I'm adding I think about three to four drops in each cup and then I'm just going to um, mix them slightly or you know just mix make sure the um, alcohol is mixed uh, well and also I think you have to work quickly with alcohol because it does evaporate so don't leave your paints uh, overnight or if you do use it the next day you will probably not find any um, results uh, from your pores because the alcohol will have evaporated so um, you can see the consistency is pretty good um, it's not thick and it's quite runny uh, because I think the alcohol thins down the paint slightly which is good and you don't need to add any water so I'm quite happy with this consistency and I did try it in my last pour. I tried alcohol in my pores and I really liked the results and I didn't need to torch at all uh, for the cells to appear and I and I and I noticed that over time as you left the paint to dry uh, more and more cells came out uh, developed over time uh, as painting dried so alcohol I think is a really good ingredient and alternative to uh, silicone or um, dimethicone so I'm going to do a, a kind of a swipe technique here and I've got a 8 by 8 inch canvas and I'm just going to do random um, uh, pours across the canvas and you might think when you see it that what the hell is going on it looks crazy and a bit messy but the end result was stunning and almost looked like a galaxy um, and all the stars up in the sky at night it's beautiful because the paint the colors are so pigmented and they turned out really beautiful so you might think <laughs> when I'm doing it that this is rubbish well I thought so as well but trust me it really turned out very very nice and very pretty I must say so I just added all the four colors in random stripes uh, across the canvas and well you know it's all about experimenting and I love doing that because um, you know you never know what you might end up with so this was one of those moments where I thought it's the end of the year and I'm gonna do something crazy um, and see what happens so I'm using a piece of uh, cardboard here and here you go you'll see what you know what's going on you know what is she doing but I, I was just trying to give it a swirl effect, kind of t swipe it in a circular motion so it looks like the space, um, the universe and the stars and the sun and it, all the planets around it and it actually turned out just the way I was expecting it to turn out because right now it looks muddy but it's only because the uh, cells haven't popped up yet but you will see what I mean when when I finish uh, swiping uh, the all the beautiful cells popped up and the colors 
became really vibrant and although you might not see this in the video but it is quite vibrant as you know golden acrylics are pretty um, uh, vibrant and uh, they they are very very um, strong colors so you will not get a dull effect using golden fluid acrylics no matter what uh, paint color you choose so um, in this one I think I've used primary blue magenta yellow and iridescent pearl so I I'm going to add, I think I added a few, uh, there was some of the canvas was showing from the bottom because the swipe of course was not clean, but I added a few um, ribbons, I'm adding um, the magenta and I added uh, the pearl as well, just to give it that final touch. I would love to hear what you think, thank you so much guys for always supporting me and I've had a great year, lots of subscribers and you have, if you haven't already subscribed please do, I'm always um, trying out new things and, and I'm so humbled by all the um, love that I have from you guys and the support that I get and here is a close up look of my crazy madness swipe swirl technique which looked like a real mess in the start but look at it, it's so pretty the cells, the swirl effect and it's just amazing I, I was totally surprised by the effect that I got in the end by just using alcohol and PVA glue and nothing else so let me know what you think, leave me a comment and um, you know any advice, any tips uh, are always very welcome so um, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and I wish you a very very happy 2018 and I hope to see you on the other side uh, very soon. Thank you so much guys, stay blessed, take care for now, bye.